telling us your name? Bill Hertz, H-E-R-T-Z. Okay. And then can you tell us what you brought to the harvest today? I brought some clothing, a hat, uh, a bow tie, I think at least one pin from the sesquicentennial back in 67. Okay, can we start by talking about the dress? You said it was made by your mother. Yeah, it was made by my mom. Um, all I know about it is that it was made by my mother and somewhere on it, I think, or maybe it was the other dress, had the, uh, the date, you know, 1967. Uh, what made you decide to bring that to the harvest? Well, it's been at the house, our house. My mom passed, I don't know, 15 years ago. And of course, when we cleaned the house out, we brought a lot of the stuff to our place. My brother got some, a lot of it, and it's been there forever. And then the hat was also made for the same Yeah, event. now the hat, of course, I, I think the hat was bought. Um, <clears throat> Robert and I were trying to kind of decipher who actually made the hat. We can't figure that out, but we just I just found out my name is actually... Mom put mine, that's my mom's handwriting. That's oh, where wow. we lived since... Do you mind holding that up so he can yeah, put it on the camera? That's where we lived since uh, 1956, I think we bought the house on Stanton Avenue. To be honest with you, I don't know that much about the bow tie. I'm going to be very honest with you there. Um, of course, it was made for the Susquehanna. Mm -hmm. The pin, the people in Milton, the, the men of Milton, not to sound sexist, but they were all required to grow a beard and mustache and everything and they were looks like there's something under that even I don't want to scrape it off but it was like a group mm -hmm. and you had to grow this of course me being who I am I couldn't grow a beard and mustache so <laughs> I got the little pin so they let you wear the pin in replacement see I don't know I don't know I, I, I vaguely remember some of it I know it was like everybody was required, well, they weren't actually required, but they were asked to, to grow a beard and mustache, you know. Yeah, what was the reason behind that? Well, because it looked like a, like Milton would have looked back in, what, 1817, you know. Okay. Men weren't clean shaven, and I guess that's kind of what it really represented. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's so great that you have these items considering it's the bicentennial this year. Yeah, yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah, I've been around a long time. <laughs> I've lived in Milton all my life. Um, my dad lived in Milton all his life. My grandfather actually had a meat market on Broadway in Milton here. Oh, wow. What was that called? Hertz's Meat Market. Okay. And then it became, he died many years ago, and uh, Don Byerly bought the, the store, and he ran it for quite a few years, and of course now there's nothing there. So, I mean, my family goes back to probably when they immigrated from Germany. Wow. So your family's been in Milton for a long time. Yeah, a long time. It's a great place to live. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it, I've lived here all my life. Um, it's a slow pace. You know, yeah. people are pretty honest. <laughs> Life's been good to me here in Milton. 